chloroplast maps. One of the most commonly used types of maps is a chloroplast map. Chloroplast maps use different shading and colors to display the quantity or value in defined areas. Chloroplast maps are best used with polygon data so that it's easier to see color variations. This example of a chloroplast map uses shades of two different colors, orange and teal, to show spending per student by school districts in the United States. School district is the defined area and spending per student the quantity. When, de when designing a chloroplast map, you have to make two basic choices, the number of classes you want your quantity value divided into and the classification method for arranging the data into those classes. When choosing the number of classes, keep these points in mind. The more classes you have, the more color variations you have, and the human eye can't distinguish between large numbers of variations of the same color. Therefore, it is best to have no more than seven variations of the same color. The major types of classification method are equal intervals, quantile, natural breaks, and defined intervals. In equal interval classification, classes have equal ranges, such as ranges of 1 to 5, and then 5 to 10, 10 to 15. In quantile classification, classes have equal counts, such as five items in each class. Natural breaks classification uses an algorithm to optimize class variation. In other words, an algorithm figures out where the best breaks between classes should be. In manual classification, a user sets the breaks, breaks based on prior knowledge of the data. In this slide, we have three different chloroplast maps, which use three different classification methods, natural breaks, quantile, and equal interval, to display the same basic data, which is the percentage of the American population in 2020 over the age of 65. It's okay that you can't see the exact numbers where the breaks are. The important thing is that these maps all use the same data, but look different depending on the classification method used.